Hi, hello Gearspace. This is Thomas from Exo Electronics and I will show you some of my new stuff with the NerdSec sequencer. So the sequencer itself is a tracker sequencer. You probably heard about it before. It's uh, uh, six tracks of CV gate sequencing. Each uh, track has three outputs and with a lot of modulations and uh, LFOs, envelopes, you can route them internally, externally to functions, effects and stuff. And together with it, uh, it's a sampler and it's in, uh, for operator FM synthesizer, it's oscillators, it can generate all this stuff. And with the expanders, it can have a lot, of more, a lot more outputs, up to 64 outputs together with the local outputs. So you can sequence your whole room. And what's new about uh, what's new with the sequencer? It's of course it gets a lot of uh, feature updates every few weeks and m or months. Um, and beside that, we have a fresh new hardware, the video expander. So you have the small screen of the uh, sequencer on the big screen uh, with uh, either HDMI or composite. And together with that, you can connect a computer keyboard for easier editing, two, uh, two octaves of, uh, uh, to, for the note input and direct shortcuts and stuff uh, for fast uh, editing. Um, the, video ex uh, sequence, uh, the video expander is out already. And the really new thing, which will be out sometime this year, is the new MIDI expander. And it get, it uh, has a USB uh, host uh, a USB host input to connect, for example, a launchpad to have the full launchpad integration uh, of the sequencer, and it uh, supports also a USB hub, so you can uh, connect multiple USB uh, MIDI devices. Um, it has a USB device port which uh, you can connect into your computer and then it shows up as a NerdSec MIDI device. It has a TRS MIDI ports in and out and it has an I2C or I2C port uh, on the front and two on the back so you can uh, connect it to your I2C capable gear like the ER301 and you directly create uh, like uh, more than a hundred new patch points internally and together with that, we have the uh, turning knob uh, in the new uh, uh, in, in, in with, with this expander. And for this, this I can use to create uh, uh, the sequences in a new way. So, uh, for example, if I if I press like a position on a launchpad, I start a sequence. I can dial in the note and just uh, dial in uh, the note. At a bass drum there. And then uh, change the triggers in an Euclidean way, also with the dial knob. Change the drums again. So that's that's new for this expander, and it gets a lot of more functions uh, for uh, for that. And for the rest, it's the NerdSec as it has been with all its functions and all its uh, old school music and new school, of course. I could do that from the launch pad as well.
question. Yeah, okay, so that's basically what's new and a lot more in the firmware as usual. Yeah.